Hello everybody! Today, we have an interesting game. Today, we've got Cat Quest 2. I never played the original Cat Quest, um, but I did see it. I know it existed, and it looked adorable. And apparently, they came out with a sequel. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the same playstyle. I don't know if it's going to be different. Uh, I'm actually kind of eager to get into this. I find cats adorable. Um, so, uh, I mean, if you don't, you're just a monster. So, uh, so let's kind of jump in and, and see what we've got here. Uh, I'm playing the Steam version. I don't know if this comes out on any other consoles at the moment, um, but I think this is something that could probably be ported to the Switch. Um, maybe the PlayStation, but we'll see. First, let's check out our options. Full screen, uh, I like windowed, but you know what, I'm not going to mess with anything right now. I've already got it running. Uh, languages, sound effects, nothing much in, in terms of options. Uh, no controller rebinding. I am playing this uh, with my Xbox One controller. Um, so I guess I'll just jump into a new game. Oh, three save slots. Uh, it looks like it has co-op, which is awesome. So, uh, <laughs> let's just start this up and see what we've got going. Long ago, it was a great evil. Two kings fought against it, but fell to its corruption. <laughs> They're in... Oh, just their underwear. For only their light can shine through the dark. Uh, Mument Shores. Brave Cave. <laughs> the king's really back. The prophecy came true. It's me, Curry, Royal Advisor. The world is in peril. You must follow me. Okay, we've got left stick to run. Oh, it looks like I have... I have a companion with me. Okay, we've got the lower button to dodge roll. Okay. Left button is attack. Right button is activate. Oh! Top button is to switch characters. Interesting. Cat rags. Equip in your bag. Here we go, cat rags. So I think that the original Cat Quest oh, was a phone port, or I don't know if it was originally a phone game, but I know that there was a dog rags. Oh, he's a dog. Oh, that's cute. There we go, cat rags on the cat. Dog rags on the dog. Alright. So I know that the original Cat Quest um, was available on phones. Um, I don't remember if it was originally a phone game or if it was originally. I think it was actually originally a phone game. I could be wrong about that. By the might of the first kings, awaken this power ring. Flame Purr and Freeze Paw. Okay, so this is Flame Purr, this is Freeze Paw. So Freeze Paw is, is it always up and down? Oh, no mana, damn it, okay, I see. I don't get that. Oh, obviously spikes damage you. I mean, clearly. Swap characters during solo play. At least the AI is competent enough to not stand in circles of death. 
which is probably much more than I can say about myself. Dungeon complete! Rest at safe zones to recover. Oh, they just pass out. <laughs> Evil kings have usurped your thrones. Liner the persecutor and Wolfen the Labrador. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can help us, my kings. Exploring this area for a moment. Okay. Feeling guard now. Liner rules here, though. Kit Kat. A blacksmith. Welcome home, your meow just <laughs> The war with the Lupus Empire. <laughs> The AI, um, he's uh, he's pretty competent. He's not doing anything silly, like I would expect from me. Don't know what that was, but okay. Maybe that was a level up. Let's do this. Gone for a little bit. We'll be back soon, y'all. This is two days ago. Oh dang. Sniffed out her scent. Good doggy. Good job, your roughing this. <laughs> what is this? The bookkeeper. Reverse time? Oh, so it allows you to... to redo quests? My rudeness, rudeness, your meow just is. I'm at my wit's end. I'm too lazy to get him orders there. <laughs> okay. Oof. You got em ores. <laughs> you got em ores. <laughs> Tails, night armor. Um, two defense, minus one HP. Well, I think that's probably better. No oh, shit. That statue has a butt. It's dead. <laughs> I 
Did she say the word heart? Okay. Well, we'll go back there as soon as I'm done exploring. Cat Venture Vest. Plus two attack. Alright, so I'm gonna wear the Cat Venture Vest. And I'll give him the Night Armor. Hello, I see you. Aw, oh, requires a golden key. The tax is how much? The armor that needs upgrading, come to me. Wanna upgrade your armor? Uh cool, yeah, let's let's get plus two attack. Or plus three attack rather. Nice! So it just costs a flat out money to upgrade. Alright, well I'm not gonna upgrade anything else because I don't know what else I'm gonna get. Ooh. An evil cat wizard? Oh, the mages want to help fight Liner too. The arcane head potter. <laughs> what? Grotto, level seven. Maybe I should not be here. Let's see what this guy is. Oh shit. He's like heating up. Oh, maybe that was just the lingering fire magic. Barely hurt this guy. Oh, he's dead. The Cat Venture hat! What? Where's the. Oh, there we go. Different tabs. Haha! -ha! Damn it, keep. I keep momentarily forgetting what my dodge roll button is because I play so many different games and the dodge roll button is always different. But at least you fully heal when you level up. Blue Mage Hat. Huh. You know what? I'll give him the Blue Mage Hat. He is now a dog wizard. Oh, I think that's the first time my AI got hit by anything. What is this obelisk? King's blood, awaken the inner power! Yay! Furry shield! <laughs> Maximum mana also increased. Okay, how do I use it? Oh! Creates a shield to reduce damage or sets enemies on fire. Okay, so I can choose which one I want. I think I'll take the damage one for now. Until I find a reason. Until I find a need to shield. So the 
mages can teach us some powerful magic. <laughs> Arcane head potters. Yeah, that's right. magic tablet in a cave nearby. Yep, we got that. What is this though? King Sigil Ruins. Level 10. Oh. Um. Okay. Can't do anything there. Theory of infinite timelines. <laughs> Meow. The dog! We're being invaded! I will, after I save. Oh, it just helps you abandon a quest. Okay. I see. The Universal Yarn Ball to upgrade your magic. Let's upgrade. Oh. Main character always gets the first upgrades. <laughs> okay. So I can come back here, get better, better magic, and go over there, get better armor. I wonder where I can get weapons. Well, mage weapons shoot from far. Alright. Did that cut his HP in half? his HP down to 56. Interesting. Uh, I think if you equip a ranged weapon, then your health gets cut? I mean, I can see why. Mr. Rock. <laughs> Extremely weak to magic. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Rocky, no! <laughs> on this is actually pretty far. What do we got? Oh, I can't enter there? Okay. Alright, so let's go back. Thank you, your majesties. We're ready for Lioner now. To the capital! Okay, and there's actually a bit of lock on. Or not lock on, but uh tracking on the on the shot. Alright, Captain Lake. What's in Capital Cave?
Nice. Level 7. It looks like no matter what direction I'm facing, the Ice Paw attack is always um, above and below. Adventure Vest leveled up. Wait, what? I guess if you get a duplicate of an item, it just levels up the current item you have. Okay, and that chest is unlocked by killing everything. Gotcha. Ice Mage Vest! Well, I uh, will be equipping that. So it looks like Puppy is going to be my Ice Mage. Fisher Cat Village! <laughs> I stare at the ocean every purring day, and you know what I see? The Cursed Ruins. Alright, let's check out the Cursed Ruins. Ninety. Oh shit! Does that mean he's level 90? I think that means he's level 90. I'm gonna just avoid him for now. <laughs> Let's not go there. Are the preparations complete? Yes, Lord Liner. Kick again. You will not see it coming. Kick again. Capital. Psh. Looking for gold. I'm sorry, but King Liner took all of ours. Psh. Hail, Cat Venture and strange-looking friend. Some enemies have an elemental weakness: fire, ice, what have you. Yeah, Liner went this way. Seventeen. Oh, shit. cooldown on the dodge roll. Oh shit! Oh shit, these guys have freeze attacks too! And they're adorable! Oh no, the dog! How do I... I just have to stand in this thing. Okay. Too, a little too tough. I need the damage to, to be able to beat them.
<laughs> All right, A and B are going that way. Liner is going that way. Let's go fight Liner. Well, what happens if I go to fight A and B? Let's, let's go take a look at A and B first. Let's see what happens. Let's see what, where they went. Okay. Damn, golden key. Fools, you fell into my trap. <laughs> Let us take care of them, Lord Liner. Kick it. So it looks like every hit you do regenerates mana. So I should just go all out on that magic. Because I get it back real fast. Throw everything myself. Resist, resist, resist. Resist, resist. Oh, great. I don't know if I can hurt him. That's not fair. Ah, is this the fight I'm supposed to lose? Nope. Okay, good. I don't like that when games put in scripted fights that you're supposed to lose. Let's see what this is. It's only level 10. Oh, you know what? This is actually probably the way back. Let me let me go to that tablet. The tablet looked like a another way another spell to learn. Yeah. It is. Heal paw! Maximum mana increased. Okay, let's put our let's do the left hand wall trick. Knight axe. Defense plus 10% as well. Okay, you look like a boss. Let's go see what the other path has. Ah, more treasure. A healing staff. Heal plot plus 20%. I wonder. Let's see. This is a lightning staff? Oh. Um, let's try it. And let's see. So this specifically boosts my heal paw. So if I were to equip it... Oh, you get a multiple spells! 
Okay. You can have four spells. Ooh, in that case. So now I've got a defensive spell on right trigger. Oh, nice. Or right bumper, rather. Offensive spell on left bumper. I guess I just attack him. Prove yourself worthy, and our greatest weapon can be yours. Okay, so good, this does two shots, and if I hit him with both, it does deal double the damage. Oh, and the cat bubble can affect me too. Okay. Wow. He's not injured, I shouldn't be trying to heal him. There we go. Ooh, the King's Sigil. Forge the weapon to defeat any foe. The King's Blade. kid about it. Oh, wow. Alright, guys. I'm really enjoying this. I think this is a great little game. Uh, the combat is fun. It's, it's fast-paced. There's no thinking. Just attack and dodge, attack and dodge. You've got magic. It comes back real fast. Use it. Um, it's two-player co-op. That's amazing. I don't know if you can... I don't know if it has online multiplayer. It doesn't look like it does. Um, let me actually go back to the main menu and see. Let me, let me go to a save point. Let me see if selecting two-player oh, hey. um, will allow me to matchmake online. Uh, that'll be interesting to know. Probably not, because we have a save file, um, and I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna gate our progress here, but. Yeah, player two, it's a local co-op. But that's not bad. Um, wow, I like this game. I'm gonna be playing more of this. Um, oh, I wonder if there's a way to game share over Steam. Let's see if I can find a way to play this multiplayer with somebody who's not physically here with me. Anyways, this has been Cat Quest 2. I like it. Um, it's cute, it's charming, it's adorable, and it's fun. Alright. Well, everybody, thank you very much. Episodes a wonderful day.